In this video, we will create an XPlenty workflow. Before you begin this task, make sure you have access to the XPlenty platform. A workflow is a package that we use in XPlenty to run a sequence of tasks. Those tasks can be either data flow packages that we've already created or can include SQL queries. We can also define the sequence and the conditions for executing a task. For example, a task can be executed after the previous task was completed successfully. To get started, select New Package on the top right corner of the Packages page. Give your package an appropriate name. Under Type, select Workflow. Click Create Package. We will then be presented with a blank canvas. Select Add Task at the top of the page. Because we're going to create a package that we want to use in this particular workflow, we are going to start with an Execute SQL task. Click the component. Inside the Execute SQL component, under Choose Input Connection, select the database. For this example, we will select a PostgreSQL database. Click Next. We'll then paste in the code to define our query. Select the appropriate result type. In this case, I'm going to choose the integer type. We will also be required to use a variable. Highlighted in blue, select Edit Package Variables. Then click Add Another. I'll add Active Promo ID and select it from the dataset to use it there. Click Save. Select the variable under Map Result to Variable. Click Next. We'll have the option to choose when the task is executed. For instance, we'll select All Preceding Conditions Evaluate to True and. But we can also use an OR statement. Click Save. Add a component by clicking on the bottom of the Execute SQL task. For this new task, we'll select Run Package. Open the new component. We'll then select a package from the packages we've already built out. If there are no variables that need to be added at this stage, click Next. Once again, we'll select our task execution. Click Save. We'll also have the option to create dependencies. We can create a dependency by clicking the bottom of the most recent component. Select Run Package. One package will run on success and another on failure. Repeat that process for the second package. We'll then click the green symbol in between the two components, as shown. By default, the packages will run on success. We have several options. For this example, we'll select On Failure. Open the component on the bottom right side. Repeat the previous steps. Choose a package and configure the rest of the setting if necessary. Click Save. Then open the component on the bottom left side of the canvas. Select the final package and adjust the final settings if needed. Click Save. While overviewing the XPlenty UI, click Save and Validate at the top of the page. Once the package validation is complete with no errors, you have successfully created a workflow package. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.